sorry about uh, stopping the last video abruptly uh, so let us continue so we were here so we're doing the simple expansion so let me go so what we did was uh, this was what was given that uh, this is purely imagined. So we're not worrying about this I'm just substituting Z as X plus Y I in this form so we did substitute and then we multiplied with the conjugate and we were in the process of expanding okay so we came here x times x is x squared x times this bracket then this bracket times x then this times this okay so we reached here so till here so x i times y is x y i now x i times 1 is x i okay and now this i squared i i is square root of negative one you know that okay so i squared you should also know is negative one so this i squared and this negative one will become plus y squared minus one now y plus one times y minus one is y squared minus one using the difference of two square formula over the big denominator which is x squared minus again the same way so let me write that y minus 1 squared i squared and this i squared will become negative 1 and this will become make it positive so now let me cancel okay so what will get cancelled so here you got minus x y i and you got plus x y i this and this gets i wanted to use a different color so this and this gets cancelled okay so i don't like this thin, thick i like a thinner pen okay so this is this pen let me change color Okay, for the sake of changing color so this is equal to so this is x squared x squared I can write this plus y squared okay and then I can write this minus 1 and you got xy plus xy is plus 2xy 2xi over this, this will become x squared plus y minus 1 squared. So this is simple algebraic manipulation. So this is same as x squared plus y squared minus 1 over this, that is x squared plus y minus 1 squared plus 2xi over x squared plus y squared sorry x squared plus y minus 1 squared now I forgot one very important step somewhere here yeah. yeah yeah this is a I have a right here now when you're multiplying by the conjugate x should not be 0 and y should not be 1 if y is 1 you will not have this real part and if you if you x becomes 0 you will not have the real part so this is a very important condition which we will use later so x should not be 0 and y should not be equal to 1 okay, this is a very important condition so what has happened now so now we have to look at the question what is the question telling me that this whole thing is purely imaginary that means there is no real part of this number this whole number is purely imaginary okay so it doesn't have a real part the real part is zero so what I have done is in this step by doing all this algebraic manipulation of z plus 1 over z minus 1 we have ended up with this step now this is your real part 
or this is the real part of the number and this is the imaginary part. Now as real is completely imaginary, as completely imaginary this has to be zero. Okay, there is no real part. Basically what are they telling us? That the real part is zero. And that's the excellence part of this question. So now you say therefore this implies x squared plus y squared minus 1 over x squared plus y minus 1 squared should be equal to 0. Now if this is 0, you can cross multiply. So or multiplying both the new both this both the side by this whole expression. So if you multiply the other side by this, it'll ultimately become zero. So what is this implies? X squared plus y squared minus one is equal to zero. And this implies x squared plus y squared is equal to one. Now this formula should be familiar to you. If you have done level 2 maths, this should be familiar. Now this is a circle. This is the equation of a circle with center 0, 0 and the radius of 1. Radius of 1. Now you have to look at this condition. Okay, this is a, that's why x should not be 0 and x should not be 1. So you have to write here that provided x is not 0 and y is not 1. That means this is a point which is a point if you draw the complete circle. So let us draw that circle. So what is how will you draw this circle with center 0, 0 and radius 1. So let us draw let us draw a sketch of that. So this is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. And let me draw a circle. A simple circle. I'll have to select and move it. Okay. Is that fine? I'm not happy with this. Okay, I think that's fine. So this is a circle with center 0, 0. This is center 0, 0 and the radius of 1. So if you go, this is, this point is 1, comma 0. This point is, uh, sorry, this point is 0, comma 1. This point is 0, 1. This point is 0, negative 1. This point is negative 1, comma 0. Now, let me come back to the question. Now, this means this is a point 0, 1. Point 0, 1 cannot be on this circle. So, how will you show that? So, you'll show this is by a gap. Okay, so you'll draw a gap here and you'll show 1, comma, 0. Oh, 0, comma, 1. Sorry. So, this is a point. This is a point. 1, comma, 0 is a point. 0, comma, 1. So, this is not a point on the circle. So, I'll draw a gap there. 0, 1 is not point on the locus. So in other words, this locus or the set of points is the circle having this equation, but the only thing is this point is excluded. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful. Both the part have been parts have been helpful. Go over the parts. You can pause the video, listen, and you can get back to me if you have any doubts. Thank you very much.